How to make this punch in zoom effect inside DaVinci Resolve. Inside the edit tab of DaVinci Resolve, this is my media example and I'm opening effects library in the tools and looking for adjustment clip and I'm leaving it on top of my media. Then I'm going into open effects, still in effects library and I'm looking for transform. Once I found it, you want to leave it on top of your adjustment clip. Next, you want to close effects library and go to the inspector. Make sure transform panel is open, as you can see. In the beginning of that adjustment clip, create a keyframe next to zoom on a default values of 1, then move forward by your liking, in my case that is 7 frames, and then change the values of zoom, in my case that is 1.3. Next up, you want to scroll down and click on animation that will allow you to make the motion blur on values of 1. Now let's play it through and see what we're having so far. Very quick and easy punch in zoom effect. You can do the same by zooming out at the end of that adjustment clip if you want to make a zoom out. And also if you like what you see, you can highlight that adjustment clip, go to the inspector, select file and on the name you can type in punch in. That way you're making it much more recognizable when you're using it in the future. And then you can open your media pool and access the power bin master, which is right here. And simply drag and drop it from your timeline into your power bin. And you're going to have a punch in preset ready to use on whatever footage you want to use it on. Just leave it on top of it and voila. Once again, I'm playing it through nice and smooth punch in. I hope it was helpful. You can also watch this video right here. I'm pretty sure you're going to like it. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.